Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. We are in a new place, a new series that was voted upon by you guys. And I have yet to make an episode on here. I basically have played here on stream and just for fun, but never recorded anything on here. But now we're going to do a series. So it's going to be a little strange because the world, as you see, has been built up a little bit behind me and stuff. First, let me tell you what this place is. This place is called the Pillow Fort. That is right. It's Jandon.com's Patreon server. And if you're interested in playing, oh boy, too close for me. Um, there is a link in the description and you can get them on here also. So I just happened to log on here where I was working last and that oh my god was um cup fans I'm remaking cup fans nether wart farm and um the problem with that is I don't have enough nether wart to fill this place up yet but um it will eventually come I, and I haven't finished this yet I'll finish this in this episode because I'm mid project with a whole bunch of stuff I have a free block shop downtown and central hub and there's some blocks I wanted to uh, show off and give out for free and I need to make those blocks so hence the uh, massive nether wart farm that is still in the process of being made but it's all completed other than the nether wart itself so other things around here um, that might that I'm in the process in the middle of is I'm making the sky base out here to see everything is done with the prismarine blocks over there is the general mumbo jumbo uh, revised version of this farm it's a little more concise and the drop shoots a little bit better and as you see it is working fairly well and that's where I get a lot of my blocks for the free block shop that I have downtown which we will see eventually um, probably in this village, uh, video <laughs> I look at villagers and I want to say villagers uh, let's see up there is a villager with the doors and here's the breeder when I feed them a whole bunch of villagers get bred and put down there you can't see them because of the distance problems um, and also I made a little AFK fishing farm while the villagers do their thing which is kind of cool so I'm working on creating villagers to throw into this which is gonna be a villager farm thing like I said I have lots of projects in the middle of uh, being made right now and honestly I have to say this I don't think I've logged on here in over a month because I've been just so freaking busy not because of lack of interest here I love this server um, it's just I've been so busy and stuffs um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish that up first, then not in this video, I'm going to finish that thing up, throw some villagers in there, uh, get some more villages over here. I won't necessarily do a server tour in this episode, you'll see parts of the server in this episode, but um, I'm not going to do a server tour because there's so much on here, this server, that I, to do a proper tour would probably take three or four episodes. Um, and I'm not really willing to do that right now but as I go through the um, the server I will point out things and who made them and all that stuff but this is kind of my home away from home and um, I think oh punch. we're back in the old days where you gotta actually go like this to get around <laughs> no uh, no firework movement here oh come on but anyways I'm gonna get to work basically standing around my nether wart <laughs> and watch it grow so I can finish planting uh, the rest of this farm up and I'll show you the process of putting in the water chambers and the redstone for finishing this particular farm up I showed you this monster of machine and what it does is it gives me rotten flesh, which is really good to have, right? Um, some lots of bones, uh, lots of arrows, lots of gunpowder, lots of string, and lots of nothing. 
And junk. <laughs> yeah. As you can tell, I just use this as a drop-off chest. But with this machine, this is how I supply my free shop. So let's go take a quick look at my free shop so you know what I'm talking about. Oh, look at this. Um, yeah. Uh, it was Christmas time, and I haven't been on here to check. I think, I think people are supposed to put things in here. <laughs> look at that. Somebody gave me two blocks of diamonds. How awesome is that? Well, thank you. Wait, thank you for whoever did that. That was pretty sweet of you. Now I feel bad because I didn't take part in the Christmas thing because work. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. That four letter word of work. But right over here, right next to the Christmas tree is our little... <laughs> Mall that's been run over with leaves. Uh -huh. And all right, here's the shop that I started making. As you see, there's a what four or one, two, three, four more blocks I'm gonna put in here. Another wart block, another brick with the wart. So the red nether, nether brick, maybe nether brick. And what else am I making? Hmm, something else. Maybe just another wart in general I'm going to be giving away. I don't know. But, uh, let's see. Donations. We got a little bit of donation. Oh, thank you for the door. That, like, really put me over the top there. That's so sweet. And the flowers, you know. I'm going to put the flowers. I'm going to put the door in a special place. Yeah. Well, let's see. Oh, now I'm out of gunpowder. All right, so I gotta bring some gunpowder over, soul sand, a little bit of that. Ooh, and some of my obsidian is gone. We're gonna have to do some obsidian mining soon. Not a big deal, but uh, the main important thing I gotta do is finish up this for the shop. So, um, yeah, remember that gunpowder, some more uh, bone blocks and stuff. So this is where you spawn when you first log into this server. And we got the moms and pops over here. We got <laughs> this guy. Hello, Rupa. <clears throat> we got Basket. We got Gekor. We got the Jan who runs or this uh, server Patreon, the mother of the server. And we got M74 Delta, mate. Delta's a really cool guy. Jan's a really cool person. I haven't really hung out with Gekor too much or Basket, but. Uh, they seem really cool. Yes, yes. And of course, it's raining. That just means that people have been staying up at night. So we got to do the hugs. We gave them a hug. Um, we got some combined... You don't want to fall down there. Some combined uh, iron stuff, villagers, to create a combined villager thing to create some massive amounts of iron. I don't know if it's even running right now, but we have iron up the yin-yang. We don't ever have to worry about iron ever and ever and ever again. And this is my place. It was, uh, it shows you how often I've been on here. I still have my Halloween, tr uh, crap up here. Somebody, uh, tricked me because I didn't have treats for them. Bye-bye. We'll leave them up there for prosperity. It's my little hobbit hole, so we just go. Ah, we're not gonna make that stupid pumpkin. Still a bad pumpkin. And we got the doorbell going. Ah, somebody uh, loaded sheep and all in here, and I think the sheep all died in there. So this is uh, my abode. The only thing I really need to do about this is figure out something to do in here. They're not gonna do that today. We don't really care about it that much. It's a working place. Bah, and um. But we got the view out here. Um, so Ziggy made that. I don't really know who made that. Maybe it's the other way around. I don't really care. And I got my extra stuffs in here. So this is my little home at spawn. And because there's a pressure plate here, it always gets triggered because the sheeps step on it. And there's a little secret in here. Um, over here. Where did I put it? Right here. I should make it look a little better in here. But it's, you know, the ring. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Had to. You get making a hobbit hole, you need a place for the ring. So, I'm going to go back 
and uh, grow up some nether wart and get the supplies to refill up the farm or my store and figure out exactly which four blocks I'm going to use there. So I've decided what I'm going to do. I've been working on getting the uh, nether, in, I mean the nether wart in here more and more and uh, thinking of what is needed. And I spoke to Jan the other day and Jan says that fairly soon um, we're probably going to be updating to 111 which means we can dump the, the punch 2 bow and start using fireworks. So you know what that means. That means an enterprising business idea for me. Yes, I have the gunpowder. I have so much gunpowder, it's coming out of my ears. I'm giving it away and all sorts of stuff. But I do not have any reeds to make paper. And what does paper and gunpowder make? That's his right. Fireworks. And how do you fly around now in Minecraft? Fireworks. So, I need to make a big mother trucking um, sugarcane farm so I can get a ton of paper. And I'm going to supply everybody with fireworks on the server so they can fly around and be brave and do all that stuff. So that is the goal. I'm going to finish up this. I'm going to wire it. I'm going to make it so you can hit a button and get, I don't know, a bunch of nether wart. And I'm going to start working on a place to put a... Oh, all the mobs are burning up now. Oh, sorry guys. I'm going to um, put a sugarcane farm here, maybe? The, I, I was thinking of putting it someplace else because sugarcane farms aren't really that pretty. They're... Yeah, and it's just going to be the normal ones, Not I'm not even going to bother using the pistons because I'm going to be here the whole time. There's nothing more to like than run up and down sugarcane fields and just punching sugarcane. You get a lot of product really fast. I don't see the need for the pistons unless you don't like to harvest stuff, and I like to harvest stuff. I really like the true vanilla feel of this game. So um, I would have done it at my other base, which I haven't shown you yet. But I'm never there, so the sugarcane would never grow. So I think I'm going to make a sugarcane farm. And maybe make it underneath me? I don't know what. I think I might follow the lines of this walkway and just make it the length of that walkway down there. That goes to that farm. And just uh, harvest it myself so I can get a few thousand stacks of sugarcane. But I have no sugarcane on me whatsoever, so... I'm going to have to go get some sugarcane and kind of do what I'm doing with the nether wart farm, which is create more nether wart or more product. And what do you think? Should I sell the fireworks or should I just give them away? The enterprising guy says, sell them, make lots of dough. Because honestly, uh, I do the donation, the free stuff, the donation chest. And I would say half my bone blocks are gone. A full chest of gunpowder is gone, and a few other things like a, like three or four block uh, stacks of obsidian. And you know, obsidian is not easy to get. And I got two flowers, a door, and something else. That really isn't worth it, is it? So maybe I'll start charging money for the rockets. We'll see. We'll see how generous I become by the end of the episode. But that's going to be the main focus on the episode. Finish this. Wire it up. And then make the sugarcane farm and start producing fireworks to give or sell. Depends on my mood. <laughs> I am back. I have realized a fatal flaw in one of my plans here. Um, I made this sugarcane farm just up here in the sky base. And have realized that mobs actually can spawn on sugarcane. I was figuring seeing that this is, oh, they can spawn on the edges too. Maybe that's what it is. I didn't think they could spawn on sugarcane itself because there's something occupying the block, but I could be wrong. So I'm going to light this up at a um, future time. First, I am going to um, make some fireworks because, oh, uh, yeah because we can and we're gonna give them away at spawn so let me uh, make up a whole bunch of paper and we're gonna 
make a chest or a double chest, depends on how much sugarcane I end up having for this, and uh, bring whatever I make to spawn. So let's hope. Um, it seems like people have been stealing my um, gunpowder, but that's okay. Um, because we got a whole bunch of it and I can AFK. But I would prefer you don't. Because just ask me and I'll give it to you. And plus I got the gunpowder shop downtown. So that is good. And hmm. Alright, as you see I've got a bunch of gunpowder. And I got some, I'm not, fireworks. I got um, a bunch of that made. So I'm going to head over to spawn. Let me see if this works here. Right, so I know it works on um, my single player world. But I don't know what the ping with servers. But if I jump up and down and hit right click we go. Who needs, um, I just want to make sure I'm heading in the right direction. Who needs launchers when you can just do like that? I don't understand why Zuma and them over at Hermitcraft thinks they have to put spider webs down and launch. You just jump up and down and right click and eventually your wings are going to deploy and you're just going to go. I always do that when I come here, is <clears throat> ride right by spawn, go over on that side for some reason. I always go right over the mall and forget that spawn is right here. So here we are, and all right, so nobody has, oops, hey, see ya, <laughs> nobody has um, made a chest full of these things yet for people to use um, so let me go over here throw all those in there let me see if there is a hey, look at that that's what I was looking for and there we are um, free chest let's make a sign here's a sign free fireworks supplied by KMA limited time offer the reason why it's limited time is because somebody on the server, Fampy Love and Zuzuki, um, are going to make a firework shop or already have made a firework shop. So I am just going to have the chest there uh, for people to use. I will um, I'll fill it up once or twice, depending on how fast it goes through. And I'm going to take a screenshot for the peeps on the pillow fort. Let's do that. So they know what's here, and I'm going to head back to my base, and I'm going to finish up the uh, nether wart farm. Uh, I put in some of the redstone. I just got to finish putting the redstones and dispensers for the water. All right, I am standing on top of the nether wart farm, and guess what? Everything is all done. I have loaded up the redstone contraption type stuffs basically uh, dispensers with a whole bunch of goulash I've just planted this so um, I'm gonna give it a second before I um, do it just make sure it gets bigger I've been refilling the downtown area of the pillow fort with fireworks from my beautiful farm and I've basically used up all my nether wart, and, not nether wart, all my gunpowder, so I'm going to have to AFK at this place. Maybe I'll do that today while I'm at work. And I get a whole bunch more gunpowder. Um, but we might as well do this. Basically, underneath here, there's a redstone line. Let's see if I catch... Oh, I didn't catch it. That goes to this torch tower on both sides. And the uh, torch tower basically just uh, allows the dispensers to dispense with their stuffs. So let me um, get back up here. 
and with the fireworks, it's pretty easy. <laughs> Game changer. Slightly scrunch. And um, replace these this block and show you what how this farm works. And then I'll replant this. So basically, you hit that in here to water. The water goes through each floor and kind of circumnavigates back and forth and pushes all all that to the center so if you go up here you see the water is on the close side and it pushes the nether wart to the side there and it pushes it into the center there and you go up here this is where it begins oh actually no this is not the top floor the uh, top floor is right here yes and I didn't actually check to make sure all of these are working it looks like I did manage to fill them all up. Maybe not that one. That one is missing a bucket. So, yeah, I gotta just throw one more bucket in there. So, once the water is all splashing around and stuff, it eventually pushes all the nether wart to the center here. And you just run along here and collect it all up. Just like that. Um, we'll most likely fill up your inventory. Um, don't need that running anymore. That turns the water off. And there we go. We got a whole bunch of nether wart. Not as much as Cup Fan's farm. His is seven floors high. This is just five floors high. So what I'm going to do is replant this. And you see I got a bunch in there. Maybe I'll, I will add a couple of floors to this. And to replant, I think I showed you this earlier in the video, but just to confirm, you just strafe like this and hold right click and make sure you're aiming in the right place is the tougher part. So if you're doing this, it doesn't really take too long to do the replanting. But before I replant, I'm going to call it an end to this episode. It's been a fun episode. The very first episode on the Pillow Fort. Woohoo! Yep, bang my head a couple of times for that one. Bang your head! Um, so I appreciate you watching this, and I hope to see you in other videos. Um, like, subscribe, follow me on uh, Twitter, and you will find my streaming schedule. I really stream from this server once in a while and stream from my own single player world and a couple other places so maybe if you like this type of content you might want to just follow me on twitter and get the notion of when i'll be streaming anyways have a great day it's kma thank you for watching